Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm doing an unboxing. I actually bought something. It has been months and months and months since I have bought a major key comic book and well, here it is, I think. So the reason why I think this is what it is is because I did business with Elite Comics 11, the biggest seller on Instagram of comic books. And I am not impressed with their um, communication skills. So when it came to requesting the money, you know, that was that that message got to me lickety split. But when it came to uh, confirmation of the payment, um, as far as the tracking information, communication with the seller, all of these things that are very vital, especially when you're dealing with a comic book worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, um, that information was not there. So it's like a, I hate to say necessary evil, but this is kind of what you're dealing with when you're dealing with Instagram sales with these big time sellers who have got all these big transactions going on. Some things get pushed to the wayside and little old guys like me with my measly $800 purchase got pushed to the side. If I sold something online for $800, I would be talking to that person as soon as I received the payment, as soon as I shipped it out, I'd be shipping that thing out the next day. I would be telling them the tracking. The best part about all of this is the tracking information that I requested. Check out the screenshot of the tracking information I got from Elite Comics 11. You have got to be freaking kidding me. I can post this without any concern of uh, you know locations being revealed or whatever because you can't even read it. And therein lies the problem. I don't know if this is actually what I ordered because I don't even know who it's shipping from. I don't even know who it's coming from. So with my rant out of the way, my complaining out of the way, I know you guys are probably tired of me complaining. You want to see some unboxing action, let's get to it. I bought a major Silver Age key comic that's been on my wish list. Let's unbox this and take a look at it. What do you know? It is the comic book. Pretty decent packaging here. I can't say who the seller was because I'm I honestly don't even remember and I don't even think I know who the seller was. Major key comic here. If you guys can't already tell from the thumbnail, you know what this is. This is Fantastic Four number 49 in a 5.0 cream to off-white pages. Marvel Comics, April 1966. First full appearance of Galactus. Second appearance of Silver Surfer. First Silver Surfer and Galactus cover. This is an all-time classic book. Stanley Story, Jack Kirby, and Joe Sinat cover and art. This is the second part of the trifecta, uh, the trinity, if you will, uh, between 48, 49, and 50. 50 obviously being the, the Silver Surfer cover, the kind of turd brown cover book, and then 48 being the big, big book of the first full appearance of Silver Surfer and the first Galactus cameo. This has been a comic that has been on my wish list for years now at this point. If you guys have followed the, uh, the channel, you guys know I made a video about books that I have been wanting to buy into. And I've been wanting that I'm at the right price. Comics are crashing right now. Books, books are selling for thousands of dollars in certain cases, less than they were even a few months ago. Um, I couldn't pass this up. I bought this book for $800. The listing price on Elite Comics 11 was going for $8.99. I made an offer of $800. The offer was accepted instantly. So if you look back at the price data of this book over the last year, two years, this book at one time was selling for $2,000. If you look at a grade higher, 6.0, and a grade lower, 4.0, these books are still selling for around like a thousand dollars a 4.0 I think was recently sold o like over eight hundred dollars so my price point for this book I kind of wanted like a 3.5 to a 4.0 I was looking to try to spend five hundred dollars a 5.0 a solid mid-grade copy I got for 800 bucks shipped I'm thrilled with this this is a wall book this is a book that is just you know this is like a, a a buy, a hold, a keep, a you know, a personal collection, keep book for me. You know, I'm collecting a lot of Silver Age, a lot of Bronze Age. 
this is what I'm transitioning my collection to. If you guys have kind of followed the channel, I'm selling things. I'm setting up as a dealer. I got another show I'm going to here soon. I'm, I'm selling away stuff I don't want in my collection, stuff that I don't think has any potential of being valuable in the future or things I just don't care about. I'm transitioning all my stuff to characters that I actually care about, keys I care about, books that I think will hold value long term, and that I actually care about the characters. Um, I actually feel much better about my collection doing this, and I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to trade books and sell books that I don't care about to get books like this. Um, Elite Comics, you know, they are what they are. They are they are professional. They have their quality live streams, but their communication skills are lacking in my situation. Maybe you guys have had better experiences with them. Personally, I wasn't impressed. Again, I bought my uh, Iron Man 55 6.5 CGC from them several months back. At, I, shoot, it might have been a year back by now, but... Uh, this is one I haven't bought. I, have, I haven't bought from them in a long time. Pulled the trigger. I think this is a great deal. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more.